got two chunks? I can upgrade my weapon. Nice. Dude. Antidote and walk around the corner. Okay, antidote and got him with a heavy attack as well. Nice. Damn, I was quick on the draw. Oh, my friends, he's still going up. What the hell? Okay, fine. I will look through my inventory to see if there's any consumables about Frenzy. Are you, ha are you happy, game? I will do it. Sedatives? I don't know. That doesn't sound like it either. Uh, ooh, some of these are a little bit mysterious, some of the ways that they're labeled. Gold pendant. Use Vicar and Marley's pendant to to gain blood gem. Okay. Pendant of Vicar Amelia. Use the change of blood gem, which fortifies weapon. This pendant passed down amongst the vicars who head the healing church as a reminder of the cautionary adage. To reveal the adage, touch the altar skull. I probably will. I think I already did, actually. Gold blood gem. Okay. Sedative and friendly in terms of wording seem to go hand in hand. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, but then it doesn't kind of explicitly say that, and then it also kind of says, this is this is a thing that makes you mad and insane, and I was just like, oh god, should I, shouldn't I? Like, I don't want to imbue some, like, evil, evil beast thing. Calms the nerves. So, Bergenworth is, like, the first place that you encounter the frenzy status effect, I think. So it makes sense again. Yeah, it says, this is thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of those of inquisitive minds. I, oh, that's just nasty. I'll use it, I'll try it, but that is nasty. Ugh. Doink. I'm pretty sure each time I do that, I get like a free bullet added to the bank. But maybe not. If the game isn't programmed that way, I'm not getting a free bullet out of it every time. But that's, you know, that's something to think about. This doesn't give you a health potion, it just gives you direct health. But the bullet actually gives you a bullet. So this guy here, right, he started his patrol. Let's see if we can get him in a way where he stops his patrol and then I can get a backstab on him before he sees me. Oh, he comes into here. Well, that ain't gonna work then. Uh oh. Well, I don't want to die to this guy, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and carry on and uh, go see Mr. Madness. Note to self, listen to the uh, TV show Freakazoid theme tune after stream is over. <laughs> I love that bit of theme tune. Okay, consume. Whoa, it works! Dude, consumables are a thing. It, it is so great. It's just like it's got all the same animation as well as like the Animaniacs and stuff, which were also awesome. Good times. 
I've only got five sedatives in the whole game. And I don't think there's like a crafting menu or anything anywhere. So you do not get a lot of opportunities to do this right. And then it's gone. It's done. Oh, I hate these freaking things. Die, die, die. So you shall know peace. Coming up to the next dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if there's any more in here. There's definitely that one, but I thought there was two. What's that blue buff? That's my um, gem that's on my weapon that gives me like one HP regen. It's super slow, but it's free. And it, it's kind of nice that I've just got infinite HP regen, technically, even if it's, it's super slow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice if I'm just, if I'm doing well. We got a, a cool rune. That's, that's nice. If I swap over weapons, it will disappear because it's not on the gem on this weapon. Which is the only way that I could tell that it was coming off of this rather than anything else. Uh, Alright, if there's no more... Brain eyeball guys, I, I guess they're, they're all clear. I'm pretty sure I saw another piece of loot in here, or did I already grab it? I already grabbed it, I was ahead of myself. Alright, awesome. So, go and do one level up, and then fight the boss, I think. Is he going to jump off here if I stand here? He does, cool. Then maybe we get him with the jump attack? Sort of. Oh god, I'm dying of poison. Ah. Ow. Now I'm dying of beasts. I have all the problems. Weapon at risk. Oh my god, I almost broke my weapon. Ruh -ruh. Now we got even more reasons to go back to town. Oops, I may have been leaning too far into the microphone. Sorry if <laughs> sorry if I was loud over the last couple of minutes. Uh that's not the right corner. This is the right corner. Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me... Samuel Graham. Ooh, three more stamina bar. That's pretty sick. Uh, I think the next boss requires me to like dance around it a lot. I I do I do like skill though. It's just, it's just like two more damage on the right-handed weapon one, which is like the spear. It's three more damage on the whip that we're not using. But you know what? We'll go do the upgrade. On the weapon. Farewell. Now that I've got enough chunks. And and then we'll see how much extra damage dexterity gives me. Skill, rather. So wow, cool. Lots of extra damage. Nice. Um, I guess, seeing as it's just sitting there in our inventory, we'll upgrade the threaded cane as well. We don't really use twin blood shards for anything else right now. It's all good. 
check out our gems while we hit. Oh, nope, repair. Repair. That's odd. It said weapon at risk. But then it was fine. Like, the only thing I had to repair was, like, the, the saw in my hand. But it wasn't in my hand. It's, like, the weapon I don't have equipped. Huh. Odd. Maybe I will get rid of the HP regen stuff. It only gives me a couple more damage. If I get rid of the HP regen. It's probably not worth it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Wow. An extra 12 thrust damage, though. Okay. Yeah, I'll give that a try. Hmm. No, this is even better. Yeah, I don't want to lose 10 physical to gain 4 thrust. Nah. -uh. Okay, next gem. This is one where we're looking for pure damage. This is way more pure damage. And it's going to reduce my stamina costs with this weapon by 1.4%. Or all stamina costs. Maybe even like ducking and rolling around. Or Ultimate power. This is another one where I'm just looking for like the best damage. Uh, I don't want to lose, like, 9 physical attack to gain 3 thrust. That seems like a terrible exchange. Okay, so that's as good as it's going to get. Threaded cane. Let's, let's do our best for this one. Nothing standing out to me yet. What about the last gem slot? Well, that converts it all into arcane. That's interesting. I don't think I have a lot of arcane. That's kind of cool. This one's even better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Read the best we're going to get out of either of them. And nothing new for the pistol. Alright, from the top, we've got crits gain us 200 health, crits gain us 2 bullets, crits gain us 10%, uh, just permanent max stamina plus 10%. Can we do better? Well, 10% HP is 1 now, nice. Maximum bars plus 3 is it possible. Eye damage, plus 5 from the Fading Lake. Yeah, cool. Plus 200 Frenzy Resistance. Ah, that could have been the thing while I was doing this level. If I had 200 more Frenzy Resistance, I might be okay. Maybe. Rapid Poison Resistance is one that we got now. All type of resistance, plus 100. I think I used to run around with this on while I had, while I had the minimum hit points because, you know, that's kind of cool. I still never done any of this transform stuff. Seems weird. Just gonna go without. Right now, let's see what skill scaling will do for us. Oh, plus, I can also put on like stuff that looks cool rather than just any old garbage. So, what does the full graveyard set look like? That's kind of cool. You look like the necromancer in Elden Ring. But like a like a red version. This is nice. I think we want to look a little bit cooler though. What's the what does the black hood do? Oh, and gob. oh that's the starting stuff, right? Okay, no no no. I quite like the top hat, but it's only got 30 fizz resist on it. 
Maybe we'll go with the Yarnum Hunter Camp. Yarnum Hunter Gelb, and so on. What about the Child Set? I know the Child Set doesn't come with a hat, and I was complaining about how they're like the guy you take it off of. Is uh, he's still wearing his hat? Oh, here we go. This isn't bad. It's charred, but it's cool. I fit in with the world. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. So skill now does three for our main hand and four for our other weapon. Eh, I'd rather have the endurance. <laughs> Call me, call me weird, but we're going the opposite way on this save. I'm just going to be really, really tough Farewell, and be able to move around me. a lot. Let's go fella god. You know, for giggles. De equip my sedatives. I don't want to accidentally use them, seeing as we've got so few of them. Oh, 13 health potions. I guess we're not going to go, fella god. I guess we're going to go do a health potion run. Yay! So, I'm so ready to mention the word Estus again and go on the rant again, but I think I've already done it like two, three times today, so maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just uh, quietly and Coolly, just do the run without, you know, without losing my grip. Doink. Oh, it was almost a perfect run. Damn. No, I got a level 1 upgrade item off of him. He almost always, always, always... I didn't even think they had anything else on the loot table, but he almost always, always, always drops the health. I got robbed. Robbed by a werewolf. Yeah, I miss swords. I shot him and it just didn't parry him. Not a parryable attack. How are you supposed to know what's an, a parryable attack? Well... Hmm... I wonder if I can run off across the button. I think you can. Yeah, cool. Sent the lift back up for next time. Okay, here we go. Stall them as long as possible. Okay, stalled them for too long. Got hit. Oh. It, it all went pear shaped. How did this guy not even die? Damn, he's got some skills, he's got some fire resist. 
Pow. Oh, that would have been so classy if I didn't get hit by like the next swing of the brick. No big deal. Just down here, looting stuff. Getting paid. Alright, I think we're gonna have to one shot this boss so that I don't have to do too many more vial runs. drunk anything since the stream began so um you know maybe that I was having so much fun in Bloodborne that I forgot. There, I said it. I admitted it. I played Bloodborne, had some fun. Select health to enjoy. Oh my god, another bot. Go to hell, you scumbag. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oof. They're just... I'm just... I'm, lo I'm losing it with these bots, man. I'm losing it. How can, how can they afford to lose like 152 accounts per day? With 149 of those 152 just from my channel? Like... What, what is the business strategy here? It's costing them so much electricity to run the PCs, to sign up for the emails, to sign up for the accounts, to then get them just delorted. Imagine Dean months ago enjoying Bloodborne, yeah. It's the game that I've complained about the most. Oh, there you are. Hello, friend. I think we need to jab some hands or some legs. I'm, I'm trying to sort of remember. Maybe it's like detargeted mode and jab the legs. Oh god. Let's, let's not get stuck on the graveyards. That's not the tactic. Ah, oh, let's not do a jump. Four damage. Oh yeah, there's like a load of spots on this guy that don't take proper damage. I think it's like this this backhand here. Oop. Noink. Ow. Tail, maybe? Nope. Tail's no good. Ah, moved his hand away. This is rough. I 
I think my, my previous tactic required my specific weapon. Like, whatever's going on with this weapon, it's not poking the right place ever. Oh my god. Stop. Well, this guy's absolute trash to find. Yeah, Shara Ishbalda. I could see that. Just threw a pebble at a wall and then died. That was a that was a waste of like 50 minutes. That's the thing. I know exactly what you need to hit on the boss, and then my my stupid weapon just goes, you know, nowhere. Just waving it around, stabbing everything but the hand. Ugh. Oh. All of my upgrade points are into this weapon. I'll try I'll try two-handed mode. Maybe the swiper two I don't have high hopes for the swiper two-handed mode hitting it. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Oh, I'm down to 19 health potions already before we even started. If I lose by one health potion, I'm gonna be pretty angry. I swear. What does this weapon scale with? Dexterity. It's called skill in this game, but it's it's totally dexterity. There's like a billion weapons, so there's bound to be another one similar. Yeah, but the, the problem is that I've put all of my upgrade materials into this. This is using blood chunks. I've had exactly three blood chunks in the game, and you use three for a level up. And they've gone into this weapon. So this weapon is kind of it. I'm stuck with this weapon until I find three more blood chunks to get anything else appropriately leveled. Oh, there's the laser. There's your Shara Ishvalda. Didn't see any of my, uh... Didn't see any of my loot on the floor, like my souls. Even though I died in this corner over here. That's weird. Where are my souls? Oh my god, there's not enough time to look for my souls. I guess they're just gone. Um, they can do both in this game. Sometimes they're randomly on the enemy that killed you, sometimes they're randomly on another nearby enemy that didn't kill you, and sometimes they're- oh, they're there. Yay, got him. 14,000 souls. Nice. Yeah, it's a bit weird, like it's not very consistent. They just- they just kind of plonk your souls wherever. Retaliation! It's kind of got to pr predict where the hands are going to go before time and not be anywhere near the legs and... This is still a very nonsense boss, but I, I did a bit more damage to it. For the other weapon mode. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god, just doing something red. 
Stop doing red things. Oh god. Still confused by the one hand and two hand. Yeah, just in this game, you're allowed to just hold it differently and the weapon does slight different things, but not really. It doesn't seem to do any extra damage, it just kind of changes how the weapon swings. The damage is exactly the same. used to like my old axe for that because you had really wide sweeps whereas you had really forward kind of hits with the axe in the one-handed mode so the the difference felt good on the axe i think each time he uh does that jump we're going to try and hit him twice in the hands as he rotates this and then oh no he hit me so okay yeah, that was bad I'm, I'm so I'm so dead oh god even like the other ones at least give range or something yeah yeah I feel like just the other weapons do the second mode differently whereas the designer of this weapon just kind of forgot that the second weapon mode needs to be different somehow because they're just this is kind of bad in both One hit, two hit, yeah, nice. Come on, ah. one hit, two hits, oh, a few more because the other animation, yeah, yeah, die, dude. Oh god. Nope, he's kinda jammed himself in some corner. I don't I don't love this. Oh, he's got like one of his arms. He's ripped off one of his arms. Doing a thing. I don't I don't know what he's doing. Me, just give me an arm. One two. Oh, he's down again. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yeah, he kind of... Uh, he kind of does a lot of bleeding all over the place when we hit him, and then when he rips off his arm... Oh, God, fountain of blood. Yeah! Let it... <laughs> let the blood rain. <laughs> um, we got we got one of the chalices. Cool. I think we can run, like, some of the, like, the medium chalices now or something. I don't think this room actually did anything after you unlock this. I think you just get like a save point here in case you really want to come back for some reason. And then I think that's it. I think we outie. It's cool. Another place done. How do we get behind patches? There's a way to get to the second floor and get behind patches. But I actually don't remember doing it very early on. I did this early on. So I don't think it, it comes out of here. Or if it is, I discovered it later. Oh, I can still hear the baby making baby sounds. Creepy, creepy Margo. All right, let's let, let's head out. I don't think you get to the second floor of the library this way. Maybe it's once you do 
something in the alternate version of the insane asylum, which is where we're heading next. Welcome. What is it? I'm Very glad that boss well, is dead. It's so awkward. I guess I still have enough of an opportunity to go strength at this point. I've got 16 skill. It's going to be a little bit wasted, but most things scale for skill as well. I could just, I could just pick up like a, a an axe or something at some point and and just, just be happy. Just no happiness again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll think about it when I when I find more like. What were they called? Blood chunks. We'll yeah, we'll maybe look into not being dexterity. We'll keep going. Maybe we'll find some more weapons. Farewell, good me. Oh, we should check the shop. Maybe they've got like another dexterity weapon listed now. Can we buy No, we can't buy cures for Frenzy. Oh, this is a bigger list. So, we got a nice strength equal strength. The weapon I started with for dexterity. Strength equal. Ludwig's is an equal. Okay. The one I'm using right now. I think I had Cleaver into Holy Blade for my playthrough. Not that I finished it. Oh, we got the stake, stake driver now. That's another uh, equal one. Let's see what this is. A trick weapon fashioned by the workshop heretics. Powder kegs favored by the retired hunter Dura. So maybe I got this because I picked up the drop from the machine gunner guy. Maybe that's how you unlock the extra items, by picking up the workshop hunter's tokens? I'm not really sure. The stake driver, with its queerly complex design, violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of foes. The stake driver allows for high damage, critical attacks, but is difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of this should bother a mere powder keg. Oof, do I really want something that's going to leave me wide open and, you know, critical attacks are great and all, but only some bosses seem to open themselves up for critical attacks? Well, either that or I need to use strong attacks more often on them. I might buy it for a goof at some point. You need 18 to wield it. I really think we could do with Ludwigs. I'd, like, I'd be enjoying the, in the game again. If, uh, if I had my Ludwigs back, I think. <laughs> oh, we've got Ludwigs rifle as well. Let's see what this is. Uh, rifle was employed by Ludwig. First hunter, long barrel makes up for in range for it lacks and reload speed. Okay, so it's tough to reload this one. Yeah, I didn't realize that Ludwig the horse had a gun. A horse with a gun. Huh. Healing Church Workshop began with Ludwig and departed from old German's techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts. Perhaps things still worse. We're way off the cannon. There's no way we're getting 30 strength right now. We have the right stats for Ludwig's rifle and we have the money. <laughs> Healing Church's gun. Yeah, that's, that's got a ring to it. Let's buy it. Go on. That's the same outfit we've had for a while in here. Didn't have massive frenzy res, so we didn't need it just now. Yeah, sure. We could, we could spend like a little bit of extra money on things. Nothing heals quicker than, than a bullet. Yep, you can say the job is done once you put a bullet in a patient. You can. It is, it is true. So we should be able to take this like a, a little way in. Plus four. That's fine. We, that's enough to give it a, a go. Damn. My current one has like all the blood attack. We might be able to fix it when we uh, take the, the, the gem out of this one. And then put it in 
this one. Oh, still only makes it like 34 plus 4. Huh. It seems like it might be incredibly weak. Yeah. I think the Hunter's Pistol with 124 plus 3 ungemmed is kind of dwarfing what we got out of this. It's got to be the beast scaling with Blood Tinge. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Haha, <laughs> a shot. Does it look cool? Oh, damn. We're ready to go back to Monster Hunter with this. Dude. Right, so I, I'll test it out on the, the doll again, of course, because, you know, that's how I accidentally tested out my gun the other day. Uh, what are we doing next? Oh man, five health potions, I know what we're doing next. It is. It is. It's for taking out big game. I'm a big game hunter now. Oh, that's right. Instead of going into Patches' library, we should we should talk to Patches actually. Now that we filled his god, he has a good old cry about how it's impossible. But he might only do that when you get him behind him, which I'm still not sure exactly how we do that. But here comes the gun when this guy comes at us. Oh no, he's he's backing out. He's gonna let his crows do it. Sixty. Wow. That's really different from what the tooltip said the damage was gonna be like. Nope, just fired off to nowhere. Hmm. Okay. It said the reload speed was slow in it, and it, it kinda was, but it's not like I need to rapidly shoot. Damn! <laughs> I just straight up killed him with the gun. Pow! So less blood damage, but more physical. I guess so, but I didn't see a listing for physical. Unless I'm like really, really bad at vision. I just... It just looked like guns only had blood damage on them. We'll have a look in a sec. Aw, oh, man. I was going to yell bang as I shot the gun, but I pressed the key and the guy just bit me. Bang. Oh, we got two free bullets out of it. I really think my old version on my old save, I only ever got one bullet out of getting a crit. But on, on this, I've, I've got a gem with two bullets at a time. Yeah, let's have a go. Physical attack, zero. Blood attack, 34. Seems to do a lot of damage though. Let's, let's put the, the regular pistol back on. Yeah, okay. Have a go. This guy. Pow. 80. Two free bullets. Love it. Ludwig's rifle with much, much, much less damage on it. Sixty-nine. Well, yeah, it's less than 80, but it's not that much less. What's going on? It does feel a bit more shotgunny. It's true. I just love the amount of blast, the amount of blap on this thing. It's cool. It's got a satisfying sound. Yeah. If we can get it to uh, upgrade parity with the other thing, it's, it should be a trip. My character must really love guns, because we've got a big gun, and then my spear is also a gun, so we've got guns with our gun, so that when we don't have the gun out, we can still gun while we gun. Not that it interrupted him either time. Let's try again. See, that only does 70 with my two-hander. Anywho, sorry I just finished work, so walking the pub time. It's quite alright. Thanks for keeping me company today. 
We've had mostly bots today. A couple of people, but mostly bots. Yeah, I'll just keep doing what I do to uh, 6 o'clock and hopefully we'll make some more progress. This has been a lot of fun. We've got to start another save to do that level right and to take the other option when we get to the option point and yeah, so much Bloodborne. So much Bloodborne left to do. <laughs> this is so crazy. We've reversed, we've flipped sides. We're on Team Bloodborne now. For now. Who knows, I might grow to hate it. We'll have to see. Wait, that guy came from the bank? Damn. Oh, none of them dropped any stuff. I need stuff. That was the whole point of this loot run. Oh, bricked. Double bricked. Uh, infinity bricked. I'm not going to use the health file. We're going to get a free heal when we teleport out of here. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Oil again. Get out of here. I'm going to teleport over to where Panthers is, have a good laugh at him that we felled this god, and then we'll go through and we'll do the other level. Oh, cease this dithering. <laughs> he hasn't realized yet. He hasn't realized that we took out his god. I know we're teleporting upstairs in that back right hand room. But from where? But from where? I still only have 19 HP potions. Ah. I suck at farming in Bloodborne. And, I don't know, maybe it's a me problem. Maybe it is. But I just, I just, I just don't agree with the whole thing. The way they've got it set up. So we want to be in Yargle and Sea Village. That's where we're going. Hey, sweaty clothes, we finally found the item. Found the secret level with it on. Pretty cool. Ugh, I did that all the wrong way. There's probably no point me going the way that I'm going. Hey, another bloodstone chunk. Because, um, I haven't unlocked the shortcut yet. So this is all going to be moot. Hey, we hit him for 666. Iron Yargle Helm. Cool. Interesting. That all looks like unplayable level down there, so I, I don't really want to do that. But yeah, here's the lift. This isn't going to work, of course. And then uh, let's go back before these guys respawn in.
Like these two. Went into a bit of a bullet deficit there. Oh, now they're respawning behind me, of course. I didn't even think about that. Necromancer says what? Did I ever go this way? It doesn't open from this side. Well, we know it's like a, a shortcut. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's look this way. I don't know if I remember going. Through. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Once again, we've got to get to the next one. So I know where this is. But what about up? Back in this way, because I, I know that that way is the right way. It's the way to progress through. So what was what was this? Oh, here we go. new gem. Uh, the Mensis ritual must be stopped lest we all become beasts. Well, I guess that failed because we are all, we are all beasts. Even perhaps my character and he didn't realize it yet. Huh, that necromancer wasn't responsible for all the guys outside. Curious. You would have thought she would have been. Or maybe, you know, she is, but we need to kill them once. See, that guy just kind of dream disappeared rather than died on the floor. Alright, skip, 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 skip. Gotta get to that necromancer. Thank you for air. Weird. Is that a doorway? Yeah, you're a doorway. Right, this is who we want. Right over... Oh, no, I'm too early. Is this the... No, that's not the Necromancer. What the hell? Oh, next to the gunner. Okay. Wait, and they don't all crumble? Jeez. Nice. I think that way is the true direction. So let's uh, grab any other swag and open any doors like this one now. Boink. Just kidding.
we've got to move quickly because I think these are all respawnables. They've got that kind of red skin type where they're just the, the summoned in ones. But what is there to do in this area? There's a guy. Sure he's cool with me doing what I'm doing. So this goes through to here. Where is this? Oh yeah, I know this way. At the top of the stairwell where we are here. I think. I'm gonna just assume this isn't a mimic and just go for it. Tiny Tontorus. Ah, even. I want whatever's in here, though. Oh, this guy's there. Does not open from this side. Curious. How on earth would I be in... S I'm going to have to look out for somewhere with a drop rather than an elevator in because I don't think you go up into there by the look of it. It's got to be you get down into there and then open it from behind. It's the only thing that makes any sense to me. Ah, he does look at you while you're walking past. Keep it. I guess it also could be a secret wall thing. I should have checked that while I was in there. Hold up, we're going back. We're circling around. If it was a secret wall, dealio, it wouldn't make as much sense to me because... Why even bother with the door? At that point, you know. It wouldn't make any sense. Well, make Oop. make the structure make sense. You wouldn't want everyone to take the secret wall. 